Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. And based on my last couple of videos I've put out, uh, everyone knows I got a new lathe. And one of the things people struggle with when they get a piece of equipment is they need tooling for it. And I'm no different. So what I've been doing is I've been scouring uh, Craigslist. I was very fortunate to come across an ad from a machinist over in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, it's about 35 miles from here. And many, many years ago, him and his business partner had acquired a lot of brand new tooling. And he bought it as an investment and has been slowly selling it off over time. And he's finally getting to the point to where he just wants to get rid of the stuff. And he gave me some tremendous deals on some stuff. So I'll go ahead and rearrange the camera and we'll take a look at some uh, this tooling that I got. Well, before I get to the tooling, I thought I'd go through a couple of things that I've already made with the lathe. Out of an axle from a lawnmower, I made a nice scriber. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. And I made a spring-loaded center for the tailstock to aid in tapping. Anybody with a lathe knows what one of these are. And I've got about an inch and a half of travel on that. And that turned out pretty nice. And then I made a tailstock die holder. And this was kind of the, really the, the first machining type project I had. And that turned out pretty good. So let's move on to some tooling. One of the first things I got from the gentleman in Clearwater is this nice set of Mitutoyo 12-inch calipers. The gentleman knew I was new to machining and he went ahead and broke this out and said I was going to need it and it's always nice to see a case. So let's see what we got in here. And got a complete set brown and sharp depth gauge. Then he asked me about the lathe and he told me he had some uh, Morse adapters. It's a number three to number two Morse taper adapter and a number three to number one. So those will come in handy. He also had a set of one, two, three blocks. Gave me a really good deal on those. And a nice, looks like shop made uh, angle plate. Uh, it's actually very accurate and got a good deal on that. He had this uh, Starrett scribe block. Didn't have the scribe with it, but it's a Starrett. And because it didn't have the scribe in it, he gave it to me. So that was a pretty good deal. Well, the next items that I have are uh, two tap wrenches. I have one, but uh, I didn't have one that went up to a uh, half inch. Uh, so he went ahead and gave me that one. There's no name on it. And this tap wrench here actually says LS Starrett on it. So nice Starrett uh, tap wrench. And being new to machining, he knew I needed one of these. So he tossed in a uh, threading gauge. Didn't even charge me for it. The amazing part about this gentleman in Clearwater who had bought out that inventory of uh, tools is everything is brand new. This is all new old stock. And gave me a little uh, die holder there. A tap wrench here. He said there was a little rust on it, so he gave it to me. Same with that one. And this one here, he gave it to me for a couple of bucks. It's an SPI. Didn't have rust on it. Well, the rest of uh, the stuff in this box, I'm just going to take it out in the order it comes. So, here we've got a huge reamer. 
high speed steel brand new never used another size reamer 0.8125 another one 0.4062 We've got a precision twist drill, 3764s, brand new. Like I said, everything was brand new from this guy. It was just a dream going there. 3564s, it's carbide tipped end mill. five dollars price that out in the store and another one 3564s half 13 tap brand new Nine sixteenths drill. Got a fifteen sixteenths drill. Again, brand new. Well, that thing's sharp. I'll be putting this stuff to use. Looks like we got a three-quarter inch drill. Half inch. Another half inch. And the rest of these I believe are reamers. Various sizes. Like to have a complete set of these things. And I believe this one's carbide. Hannibal Carbide Tool Company. So, yeah, this is a carbide one. Well, that's it for this box. Let me put all this stuff away. We'll move on to this box here. And this has a variety of different stuff. Uh, he had a bunch of caps and dies. Had a hard time sorting through them. But uh, managed to grab a few. Some quarter 28s. Brand new. 3 8 24 die. Quarter 20 tap. Uh, he gave me a bunch of uh, quarter 20 set screws. He had about 50,000 of those. Told me to take a bag. Same with this. He said take a handful of them. It's machine screws. Creates NPT tap. These things ain't cheap. I think I paid a dollar each for them. Some 832 taps. Some more machine screws. Some 716 drills. Spiral tap, 516. Uh, some roll pins. All the twist drills that he had in these packages, uh, they were all full and all brand new. And you can't beat it for two bucks. 
eleven sixty fourths. Well, I had that one packed upside down. Five sixteenths, three thirty second, seven thirty second, eleven sixty fours, half thirteen tap and a half thirteen die. Got a small pack of a uh, two millimeter. It's not quite full, but. And the last of what's in this box is uh, tap sets. Here's uh, some 516s, 18. 18. Uh, quarter 20. These are uh, three packs. More quarter 24. He had a ton of quarter 20. I think he gave me two of these. There's another quarter 20. Some 3 eighths 24. And the last of what was in the box. Is inserts. Carbide. And these things are not cheap. To buy them online. Or buy them anywhere really. But here's a complete set of 10. DNMG. Gonna have carbide for the rest of my life. All I need is some tool holders for them. Got a complete set of CNMG. And we got some TPG style. Now these don't have a hole in them so it's going to require a special type of holder. But we can acquire one of them over time. Put those to use. You had a whole box of uh, miscellaneous uh, carbide. Now these are the kinds uh, these are the kind that my tool holder takes and there's probably I don't know 15 of those brand new I'm gonna have to sort through this box here try and be careful But a bunch of miscellaneous carbide. That's a big old insert. I don't think I'll be using that one. Now a lot of those uh, twist drills that I got from the gentleman in Clearwater, they had pretty big shanks. A couple of them are three quarter. So I picked up a three-quarter inch Jacob's Chuck Jacob's style Chuck it's Chinese but and I've got a Morse taper 2 to Jacob's taper 3 Arbor so that'll be a new Chuck for the uh, tailstock Got a five pack of uh, center drills. Cheap shot. Picked up a uh, half inch tooling for the uh, Alorus tool post. Got a couple of them already mounted in my holders. And these take the uh, TPG style insert that I got about 15 of. From uh, the gentleman in Clearwater. Bunch of high speed steel, 5 16 
dead center for the uh, headstock. And I picked up a complete collet set, ER32. So the smallest is one eighth and the largest is a uh, three quarter. So that'll come in handy. And that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of uh, the tooling for the lathe. We're going to have to find a home for all this stuff. So stick around for part two when I upload that one. Got a couple of nice surprises in that video coming up. But again, this is Richard with Making Something From Nothing, and I appreciate you watching, and stay safe in the shop.